My roots look proper fluorescent, don't they? I don't know what's going on here, but I like it. <laughs> anyway, we are about to head off into town. It's already getting dark, which is kind of shit, but it's fine. We're just gonna have a little mooch, to be honest. I need to buy some wrapping paper and some other bits and some little elastic so I can trim my hair. And I saw the other day this really cool bookstore shop slash magazine store shop. I'm not really sure. And a new vintage shop that I haven't been to, so. I want to go have a little peep around there and see what they're saying. So that's what we're going to do. My baby's sick. She's making fun of me. You've been looking after me this morning, haven't you? Huh? You've been looking after me this morning. I have been, yes. Do you know what's mad? It's six days until Christmas and it's 13 degrees. I'm so confused because the other morning it was minus eight when I had to take the dog for a walk and now it's 13 degrees. Can somebody make it make sense, please? Just found a cool looking chip. <laughs> I get so nervous to film inside shops, like even just filming the shop. I don't want to get told off. Transition. Good, Mr. Armstrong. this than like this. It's all of that. Waiting for a cab home. Shopping trip unsuccessful as per usual. I'm sorry, we what? We got food, but aside from that, zilch. Didn't even buy, find any wrapping paper. Zilch. It's so busy right now and it's dark and it's raining. So I think we're going to come back in the morning because we've got to do a Christmas food shop because it's literally the 20th tomorrow. Mm, maybe we should wait a little bit later. I feel like everything goes off so quickly. Thursday? Thursday, early morning. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to come back into town tomorrow for some wrapping paper. Cool. But yeah, ready to go home and eat now. Thanks, Papa. That's okay. Hiya, are you okay? Good, Yeah, good, thank you. It's quite pretty. He's a good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Did you miss us? <laughs> Where's mummy? What's mummy doing? Come you are boo boo. Hey, you are boo boo. Well, we done it. Hey, you oh, are boo boo. So, uh, I always got outed on a Christmas gift. <laughs> Baby Yoda. Kiss. Oh. You just gonna leave him hanging? Saved you. <laughs> Got a couple of things that I thought I might share with you. Showed you my um, Rick Owens times Dr. Martin's boots this morning. So cool. I've got another pair of shoes. And do you know what's jokes? I entered a competition for these. I still paid for them, but I won. That never happens. They're pretty cool. I got them from Goodhood, which is one of the coolest shops ever, but everything's like pricey and maybe a bit too cool for me. But um, yeah, I can't believe I won. I feel special. <laughs> Nike, yeah. Jacobus, are you fucking joking? How the hell did I win these? I can't believe I won these. This is ridiculous. <laughs> these are naughty. These are so sick. They're like hiking shoes, like trail trainers in the iconic like pink. I don't think this lighting's doing them justice. I love the gum sole. They've got the gold like mini swoosh detailing. They're just too good. Oh, it says Jacobus on the back. I can't wait to style these. They fit perfectly. 
Christmas has come early, guys. We're gonna eat now because we're starving. Picked up some vegan Kievs. And my boo's going climbing because that's what he does. So I'm gonna probably watch a little, little movie. Do you know what absolutely keeps blowing my mind at the moment though? Sorry, I've just had a shower. I know this seems really random. The fact that I went from one to nine tattoos in a matter of hours back in July, I feel like people always expected me to have tattoos. And as a kid, I always was like, oh, when I'm older, I'm gonna get tatted. Like, thank God that I didn't get tattoos when I was younger because I would regret all of them now, um, but I was obsessed. And then I had a phase where I was saying I probably won't ever get tattooed. And that is purely because I was like a commitment phobe. I was like, I need something that actually means something so that I can never get bored of the tattoo basically. And then I guess this year that happened and I'd already for a few years been looking at like different styles that I liked and stuff. So I always knew what kind of style I would want to get. I just didn't know what. So I was like, I'm just not gonna do it. And then all of a sudden, there were many reasons for me to go from no tattoos to nine. Although, I mean, they're all tiny, but um, yeah, it just blows my mind. I, I, every time I have a shower at the moment, it shocks me because I'm wearing like sleeves and clothes all the time. But like equally, I'm so used to them that I don't even look at them in a way of like, oh my God, there's like ink on my body. I'm just like, oh, that's my arm. <laughs> it's so weird how quickly you adjust. I haven't even had them for a year, aside from this one with my boy. Let me know if you'd like a tattoo tour. I feel like I should do it, but I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna get more, so there's no point, but I'll just do updated ones. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Oh, there go the last of my lash extensions. <laughs> to be honest, I'm really like glad right now that they're off because it means I can proper rub my eyes without feeling like I'm gonna rip my eyelids off. It's great. Having a baby dinner tonight. <laughs> Yours all looks the same. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> We've got Kiev's and tater, what are they called? Tater tarts, no, potato things. And same for him, but he's got Chicken. mini Kiev's, so it literally just looks like he's eating bare potato. We usually eat better than this. They know. It's Christmas, innit, babes? Christmas. We do what we want. Gotta just do the things and all the stuff. Look at this little geezer. Yeah, I've caught you red-handed. Don't look at him. We've decided to watch Nuri and True. We met them on the trip to Sweden. They were the coolest. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have got the wrapping set up ready to go and we've got the Christmas movie ready to go. Now all the chores and stuff are done. I'm ready to just have a chill evening, pack some presents and watch this Christmas movie and get in the Christmas spirit. I'm not quite there yet. And we haven't got very many days left, so I kind of need to hit fast forward on that. So as you guys know, I'm part of Sky Cinema Club, which means I get to watch new movies and Sky Originals, as well as blockbuster movies every month and share my thoughts and feelings, my opinions. Basically just do like a little review for you guys, which is so fun. And obviously it's December. So this month we're doing a Christmas movie and I'm super excited about this one because it's a Sky Original and Sky Originals tend to slap. So I'm really looking forward to watching this and I'm gonna get wrapping, get this movie on and get in the festive spirits. <laughs> So I just got done putting the wrapped presents back in the spare room. That movie was everything I needed right now. It's fully put me in the Christmas spirit. This is Christmas is basically, it's one of those typical like British holiday rom-com films that we all know and love. Uh, and it basically revolves around a group of passengers on a train carriage that get on the same train every day and they all kind of know each other's faces but they don't know anything about each other. And you know, as you do when you commute, a lot of the time nobody looks at each other, everybody's like reading or on their phone or just in their own world. And so on this one train journey, one of the passengers ends up standing up for another one and it kicks off this idea in Adam's head, who's the, one of the main characters, who has this, some would call crazy idea of throwing a Christmas party for the passengers on that train carriage. I guess in a way to show that like people can come together and it also gives him an excuse to get to know one of the passengers called Emma a little bit better. Such a good movie, it was so heartwarming, had the British banter. I think most people are fans of people watching and you kind of create these ideas of who 
people are in your head. I know when I sit on a train and look at people, I'm so interested in like what their lives could be. I guess it was kind of like almost living vicariously through the film and seeing like how those interactions would go if we actually got to know the people that we see every single day and are so curious about. Yeah, it was just really nice to see kind of everybody's like stories and backgrounds unfold and see friendships develop throughout. It was a super charming movie and it definitely got me in the festive spirit. It just did what it needed to do. Uh, we're rooting for you. The sofa bed has finally arrived. Yes! Guys, we finally got it! The sofa bed that's gonna make life so much easier! Do we have to build it? I think there might be a couple of pieces you put together. We should build it in there, don't we? Oh. Huh? Rick, Rick Ross. Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross? Rosie, that's my new Do, do, do. Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, that was the wrong song. What was it? I do it with my head. I do it with Oh no. Now I read the fall. There's an end to When I'm alone in my room and then who did I call? My <laughs> damn bitch. <laughs> do it by the coast. Six times 50 millimeter bolts. We need four times. Wait, can we just get this over and nuts. done with, please? <laughs> Basically, this piece connects to this piece. Right, that is fucking complicated, that. And that's it. as a bed. Pull it out flat and then just pull the bottom. <sighs> you going to bed? <laughs> oh, that sounded like it hurt. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just 
breathe it out. You have to be like rigid. <laughs> Where are we going? Trust me. Where are we going? <laughs> Squeeze. Stay there. Stay there. Just one arm is taking most of it. I this can is... feel you going like that. Yeah. Right. How's that? Awful. <laughs> <laughs> what about if we just start from the bottom? <laughs> nah. It needs, to, it needs to be up there. Come on. We got this. No. Stay there. One sec. Don't go yet. Squeeze your legs together. All right. Now stay really tight. Keep going. Stay tight. Trust me. Yeah. Stay tight. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grip! That's all I'm saying. Fucking hell. It's because you're like it flailing hurts. around. It's cool. Just... Hopefully grab a few more like last minute presents just because there's a few more things I wanted to grab and I also just fear that because of the postal slash royal mail strikes some of the stuff that i have ordered is not going to get here for christmas which is kind of frustrating but it is what it is i have got a few bits which is good so i'm not completely empty-handed but yeah i just want to round it up now it is the 21st so there's literally four days until christmas and i just want to chill now <laughs> you can probably tell by like my energy and my lack of things to say i just want to spend the rest of my year doing nothing and just like actually be in the festive spirit rather than getting ready for it if you know what i'm saying like good food good wine good movies good company so yeah just want to get the last few bits done let me know what you think of my lashes they are a lot but i, I kind of think they're really cute also my hair after doing the brazilian blow dry and having that trim so much easier to deal with. It feels super soft and just amazing and dries so quickly as well. Also, what did we think of the futon? I know it's not amazing, but I think it's really cute. And we now have somewhere for our guests to sleep. I will show you how this room is looking soon. It's just still not done. There's still like some mess over there. Before you come at me, it's not all mine. But yeah, I just need a few more bits and bobs put in away and that's it. I'm going to continue catching up on this work quickly because ideally what I want to do is go to the Trafford Centre and do my last bits of shopping before before I have my appointment so I can just come straight home after that. Oh. We've ordered Leon. Excuse me. I haven't shown you his coat. Front's in the, a little bomber jacket. It looks like the alpha in the streets one. You're enjoying this secretly. Come on, tell the truth. The little zipper says remove before zoomies. If you don't know about the baked fries from Leon, better get to know. Who's got the jerk and jam wrap? And I got the Moroccan meatballs. This is a vegan dish. It doesn't look that appetizing, that appealing, but you guys, this absolutely slaps. It's so delicious. And of course, with it, you've got to get the aioli. Ali oli oi. Pretty sure this is vegan too. Yep. Mm. It is good though. It hits every time. The flavour bangs. So good. <laughs> what? Are you doing? He keeps doing this. <laughs> that was Brunson moving the table, by the way. So my other issue at the moment is not knowing how the fuck to dress. Like, I'm I'm really struggling and it's proper stressing me out. It's so cold. If only I had a jacket as cool as yours. <laughs> it's so cold that when you go in somewhere, it's so hot. I just, I'm confused and everything looks shit and all I want to wear is gym wear. Help. I feel like none of my stuff goes together. So it's just like ma making an outfit out of nothing. Bit of a joke, really. <sighs> I hate getting dressed. I just want to wear tracksuits and leggings. Okay, I think we're going to settle on this. New hoodie that I got from Zara. Some trousers from Mango. They're like lace up, skinny, kind of flared trousers. And then my white Dr. Martens. These are like the extra platformy ones. And then I'm probably just going to wear my Prada bag. Ow, just smacked myself in the face. This little guy. And the only reason I'm not wearing more is because I'm literally going to jump in a cab and then get into a shopping centre. So I don't want to be like carrying a coat the whole time, which is probably what I'll end up doing if I do wear anything more than this. Do I need a beanie? Mm. My hair's just doing a bit too much right now. 
I don't know how I feel about the haircut either, but it was necessary. Right, I'm gonna head out. I'll see you when I get back. I've heard and seen that the Trafford Center is mad right now, seeing as it's literally four days until Christmas. Four days or five? Anyway, back from the Centre de Trafford. Didn't need to touch anything up on my face. Found zero presents. Let's come back from going downstairs. Picked up something from the living room. We had to get a bottle of wine, didn't we? It's been a while. Oh my God, this proper suits my uh, my outfit. I don't know why, I just feel like my jumper looks criminal. Another one. Why? You meant to look in my eyeballs. You meant to not have a big ass camera. <laughs> If anyone knows that laugh, put it in the comments. Yeah, comment down below if you know where that's from. <laughs> <laughs> it's someone who used to be fairly big on MTV, but they've gone on a downward spiral. So I definitely fell asleep last night. We made a little don't know if you guys can see, but we made a little den. And we was just chilling out with the dog, drinking some wine, watching some TV. And before you know it, I was waking up at 3 a.m. on the futon with the doggy. So yeah, I slept in the living room last night. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna end the vlog here just because we're a few days away from Christmas. And I just don't know how much more I'm gonna vlog. But I also just feel like this vlog is cute. I hope you guys had as much fun watching it as I did making it. What do we do in this vlog? I tried to do some Christmas shopping, did some beauty touch-ups, which I'm feeling really good about. I did the butterfly haircut, the Rachel from Friends haircut. I'll link Brad Mondo's tutorial down below, the one that I followed. I ended up, I wasn't planning on doing it, but I ended up doing it and I really like it. It was so nice having a glass of wine last night. I just really feel like I'm getting in the Christmassy mood now. I don't really have any family in the UK or anywhere really like there's no base for my family. Like my cousins from France don't live in France anymore. Neither does my uncle. Uh, obviously my grandma passed away this year. So don't have Christmas at theirs anymore. My grandparents anymore. Um, Cause none of us are here anyway. Um, and then obviously my other side of the family lives in Jamaica and America. Obviously my mom's here, but we don't, I don't know, I'm an adult. Like we don't really celebrate Christmas. Obviously she's married now. And I want her to go and enjoy that with her husband and his family because he's got a big family here. And obviously I also live in Manchester, so I'm kind of stuck here, especially with the train strikes this year. But yeah, I don't really tend to feel that Christmassy, but I'm feeling a little bit more festive than usual this year, which is quite nice. Obviously now I'm in like a new flat and it's a whole new different situation. I'm kind of more excited to celebrate Christmas, but also just have like a chilled one where it's really just like focusing on being with your loved ones and stuff like that. And I've got a doggy to spoil this year, so yeah, defo feeling a bit more Christmassy. I hope you guys are in good spirits this season because I know it's not easy for everyone. Just do what you want, take the time off for yourself and also just spend it with your loved ones if you are able to. But yeah, if I don't see you guys before Christmas, I really hope you have an amazing one and a happy new year, but I'm sure I'll see you guys before the new year. I love y'all. I will catch up with you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Mwah. Hey, the Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do?